Once you've created your blocks, you can use the blocks that are in your drawing to um, put in different places within the drawing, uh, move around and duplicate. So you would collect insert and you have a nice option of seeing all the blocks that are already created in your drawing. So these are some fun um, objects that are already in here. Um, you may not have quite so many, but let's go through and choose a block that we'd like to insert. So um, we just created deciduous tree and we can insert that within the drawing and it'll come into the scale that we created it. You can take that object and change its scale just by typing in CA, selecting a base point, and typing in a factor to create a larger or smaller version of the object. Um, if you would like to copy these objects, this is um, a nice and easy thing to do as well. I'm going to create a P line of an arc and we'll measure um, along this arc using our new blocks. So measure, I'm going to measure our arc. And um, at the bottom of the screen, you'll see where we have the option for block. You can click on it or type B. The block name we're going to insert is plow perennial. Let's make sure we have that. We're going to align it with the object, yes. And the length of that object is going to be three feet. And there we go. So now we have these every three feet along the arc. And that can um, evenly distribute our um, blocks into a line, which is very helpful in planting plans. So there's one opportunity for that. Let's go in and try um, something different. That's block editor. And you can select a block that you've already created and make changes to it. So we have our flowering perennial and we can go into this flowering perennial and make some changes to the object. So let's say we want to change these to another layer. Go to home and we'll just change it to a different color layer on there. And I'm going to offset uh, the circle about two inches. Select and insert. And now that we're done with that, we can go over here to the edge and close our block editor. Now what happens is when you change this, it's going to update it in the plan. So you can see that you've made changes to the block and there they are already updated on the plan. This is particularly helpful when you have a lot of objects in one um, drawing and you need to make a change to it. Uh, perhaps make it a different plant or something along those lines. Within the block command we also have attributes. And attributes are something that we're not going to use at this moment. But what you can do is uh, create text information that will help your um, give you additional information on the block that you've created. So let's say that you have a um, you want to give this some um, definition in your plan. So we will say that the tag is tree type. Um, the prompt again tree type. And default will be xxx dash xxx. This is what we talked about in the last video about how we would create a block name. Our text style, we'll just go ahead and leave that all in. Hit OK. Tag may not contain spaces. OK, sorry about that. And so let's say we want that to be part of this tree. We can edit that attribute and give it um, the description of the shrub, so deciduous tree. So 
So now this attribute can become part of the block. When you're creating the block, you want to add the attribute into the block when you're creating it so you can have um, that information attached to it. And you can do multiple bits of information, deciduous tree, attach more information, maybe the um, size of the plant when it's being built or when it's being installed, um, maybe a, a specific type if you're using a variety of types within the plan. So this can give you um, a greater amount of information to further refine your planting plan. So if we're going to include the um, attribute in with the tree itself, I'm going to explode this tree. So type X and hit enter. And I'm going to relocate this so it's not really in a bad situation for that plant. I'm going to change the attribute to the same layer. I'll go ahead and start on um, the shrub layer so there's some consistency here. And B make. So let's remake the same plant that we already did, deciduous tree. Pick point, again center point, select the objects, we select all the objects now including the attribute. Hit enter and OK. We're redefining the block. So anywhere in this drawing, um, it will now have this information in here. So instead of XXX, I'd like for it to say deciduous tree. Hit OK. And now we have that information attached to that tree. And I'm not sure why that one didn't update. But if we want to go in and insert this tree again, insert deciduous tree, hit OK. Our scale factor is 1. Our tree type, now it gives us that the crosshair is the tree type that we'd like to insert. And just to do something different, we'll do evergreen tree and hit enter and so now we have evergreen and deciduous trees so this can give you an additional amount of information it's particularly helpful on planting plans um, construction documents things like that it's not particularly attractive when it comes to a um, graphic conceptual plan so you want to use it in limited quantities in that situation let me show you one more command and that's going to be um, insert again. But what we'd like to do is insert from another drawing. So you can take an entire drawing and insert. So let's go to our more options and browse. So let's say you have some information in another plan that you would like to use. So this one is fun going to hit open. This is an entire plan that I've created. There's lots of information in there. I'm going to hit OK. I'll redefine the block. Apparently it's already in here somewhere. And all of this new information will come in over to the side. You want to have it at its own scale factor of 1 and hit enter. So now I have brought in with this block a lot of additional information. I've brought in font styles, I brought in some symbols, I brought in some hatch patterns and some layers. So all of these things are now going to be a portion of this drawing. If you hit explode and enter, I can now take these items and copy them around in my drawing. There's a block, I kind of like that block. I can use that in my drawing now. And hit enter. So if you want to change this block, how would you do that? You can double click on the block and this will edit our block. So hit OK and we can change it. If we'd like to change um, its color, its texture, its style, anything, you can go ahead and um, 
make that a little bit different. I'm just going to leave it the same and hit close block editor. So the block pretty much remains the same and can be used within the drawing.